Yo, what's up YouTube? Uh, it's Michael here. I just wanted to show you guys how to make your drum swing. I've gotten a lot of emails and stuff from producers saying, how do I get my drums to swing a certain way? And I'm gonna show you how to do that right here. Um, so first, I have this uh, drum uh, beat. Not very difficult, we'll play it right here. Very easy, it's only you know measure of eight at 180, not even crazy, none too bad. So, one thing, if you're on FL Studio, what you can do is move this swing tab right here. Um, basically what it does is if you can see these little things right here at the bottom here, I'll mute it and we'll just see what they look like. You see how it's scrolling across very slowly? Here, let me, let me slow it down a little bit, all the way to 90 or 80, whatever. You see how it's moving across very slowly and it's a very uh, consistent measure. It's very consistent. Well, now if you turn it up, look at, look at how it swings. Really, it swings and it moves um, in like a, a, a more of a jagged um, kind of way. Okay, let's not that slow. Let me bring it back up to one, where are we at? 180, that'll work. How you can really tell uh, it's doing it is if you add like one of uh, uh, three of them together. Listen to this. You hear that? You kind of hear that that middle kick. It's like it gets kind of shuffled in. Let's bring it back. I'll bring it back. Now you can hear it a little bit more. You hear how, like it's changing how it, it changed those those three kicks. See how it's like, it's like changing, it's moving closer and they're getting like, it's getting tighter together, right? Okay, so that's one way to do it on, on here, right? To make, to make it swing a little bit better. Let's see if I can add some more, see if I can add. I'm going to add this, I'm going to add uh, eight, and I'm going to shift it over there. Add some, I'm going to add some drums to this one. No, let's go to... Kind of add... Make it, um, I'm just adding some stuff to it, you know, just to get the effect a little bit better. Okay, so you can hear that there's a little bit of a, there's a, a little bit of a uh, open part right here. So let me trim that off a little bit. It's not that far off. Better. Okay, so now um, this is what you can do as well. And this works for any DAW. Any DAW will do. Okay, so what you're going to do is send it to whatever piano roll you have, and you're going to back them all up. You can hear what it kind of sounds like already as I'm doing everything, right? You can kind of hear where it's going to be this one. that I also need to do all the hi-hats easy you see all you do is you highlight them all your hi-hats and move them back a little bit put it put us in right here and then so you see how it sounds like it's the hi hats are making it move a little bit differently. They're making it it's kind of off the beat, and you would I would do the same thing even with my chords. I'd move them off the grid. They call it off the grid. Move it off a little bit, you know. Slide it back and get it to where you like it to sound, and you know make sure beats sound or they swing a lot a lot differently. Not better or worse, but just differently. 
You know what I mean? I, and I always do this with every one of my tracks. So let's go back. See how far, see how far away you can, this is just, this is just the, um, the open hat. You can really push it back. Like you can, I'm, I'm thinking you can maybe even get away with this. I push it back to see how far, as much as I can get away with. Oops. So you see, it's very easy once you get it down to make your drums sound like just a little bit cooler than they would be any other ways. And I'll, I'll clone this one. And then let's see if I can bring it, let's see if I can actually undo it from the piano roll if it comes back. No, it won't. So what I'll do is I'll move it all back to where it was before and we'll AB it to see what, see what the difference is. Let's go here. And all I'm doing with the quick keys right here, E to highlight. E is to highlight. And then P is for the, the pencil. E to highlight, P for pencil. It's very easy, this one. Boom. Something like that, right? Okay, so let's put it on the song. Let's go to pattern one. Let's do a few of these patterns. Let's go to pattern two. So one is... Like you can see the difference. One is our swaying one. So I'm gonna actually do it backwards. So I'm gonna do two here and go up to pattern one, boom. So this is our pattern one. Very on beat, okay? You can hear that. Now let's go to this one, pattern one. You hear how it's like really, it's swinging more. It has a different swing. The hi-hats make it swing a little bit more. And if you can't hear it, just replay this back. Uh, replay it back right here and just so you can kind of hear where it's happening. And another way to check to see what's going on is using the metronome while you're doing it. So watch. It's all on beat. It's all on beat right here. Exactly right with the metronome. Boom, 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 boom. Right? So now, let's hear it one more time. You can hear that right there, right? So now let's try it here with the metronome on this section. You can hear the metronome stick out a little bit more. You see what I'm saying? Hopefully the metronome with the metronome there, you were able to hear it move out a little bit because now there's a little bit of space where you can hear the metronome and where it's working at, right? So let's hear them both together and hear the transition going from one side to the next. you heard it there i hope you can hear that and, and notice what's going on um you know and this work, like i said this works for any doll being able to select move back select and move back and like i said before if i was to be playing keys on this one i would also be moving those back a little bit to even give it more swing most of the tracks that i make the metronome is really off it's really off and i like the way it sounds when it's when it's like that you know it has a real natural feel to it um well i hope this helped you in in you know, helping you find the track that you like and experiment with this experiment. Do what you want to do. Move some things back. You can even move the snares back too. here. Let's do that. Let's do that real quick. Let's move the snares back and see what that sounds like. Shorten them up a little bit. Let's see what this sounds like. And I was on number, what's that one for? Number two. Let's see. Actually, I want to do it on number one. I want to do it on the first one. 
Let's do that. E, P, let's see what is up. Boom, boom, just a little bit back. More. With the metronome. So you hear that difference? Now let's go back and A-B it while I put this one back to where it was before, which was right here. And it looked to me like I might have left this one, I, I left this one a little bit off. So let me go back and move this up a bit. So now we can really get the difference between um, the one that's on exactly on the beat and the one that's a little bit slid back, slid back a little bit. So let's do it from here and let's start from the beginning. But even that one, I can hear the snare. The snare is making this, this one swing a little bit. You see, I can already hear that that's, that one has a different sound already to it. Okay, so let's bring this up a bit. So now everything's on beat. Let's do it one more time. You heard the difference there? I hope you can hear the difference. If you can't, like I said, replay it, come back to it, and see what I'm talking about. So when you have your tracks, select the hi-hats, and it works for any DAW. Select the tracks, move them back a little bit. Select the snares, move them back a little bit. Select the open hat, move them back a little bit. You can get away with doing, um, like for example, the kick and the snare, you kind of want them to be somewhere around the same, somewhere around the same, just because those are the ones that keep it keep it on pace the hi-hats though you can move it back a good bit and the open hats you can move them back a lot um, you can move them back way a lot and they still sound very cool and it adds a, a really cool vibe to your shit so I hope that helps I hope you make good music and I hope that you use this in whatever you do um, my name is Michael Riley if you have any questions feel free to email me at michaelriley1 at gmail.com I will leave it in the description below um, and yeah, hope it helps. Please let me know if I can answer any other questions you have. Feel free to hit me up and I'll make a video on it one day. And yeah, hope to hear from you soon. All right, peace.